Hello, I'm Philip Stoughton for ID People. I'm here at Wise Media's sixth EMEA Summit in Abu Dhabi, and I'm joined by Dr. Khalid Aitalil from uh, the Saudi Arabia, Arabia Ministry of Interior. Thank you very much for joining me. I listen with interest to your presentation on smart cities, and we're hearing a lot about smart cities, smart government. The word smart's being used a lot. Yes. Um, Give me some examples of what's going on specifically in Saudi Arabia on the on the smart the smart city initiatives. Yes, uh, I, I spent maybe more than ten years with the uh, smart card ID applications and setting an infrastructure for uh, uh, at least smart applications or better uh, services for uh, citizens and residents in, in Saudi Arabia. And this year we have more of, of e-services that are helping the citizens and also the residents to get access to the, their requirements. So now we have more and more applications that are used to require the person to go by personally to the department or the government sector to get a service. Uh, now, the more, more or less, we have more applications that are uh, being enabled to help uh, the citizen and also to help the private sector getting uh, government services. Uh, and this is mainly uh, supported by uh, a government, the company that is uh, launching this co company called Al Al Elm, which is owned by uh, BIF, the Public Investment uh, Fund for the country. And now we have a, a, a very good uh, move towards many of these uh, uh, of these services. Services like uh, uh, showing uh, driver license, uh, renewal of residency card, uh, getting exit reentry visa if you want, uh, also applying for a visa. More or less, there is more and more of these services coming to be more smarter. Next step now also is these applications are moving to the uh, smarter devices or the smartphone. So okay. there's more applications yeah. towards uh, uh, if it is an iPhone, iOS, uh, and if it's uh, a Samsung or Android, yeah. it's an Android yeah. applications. These applications will come this year also. Okay. Yeah. And with the smartphone, what's the, what's the kind of smartphone usage in Saudi Arabia as a proportion of the population? You know, Saudi is one of the uh, largest countries <laughs> in terms of the uh, number of mi mobile phones per person or per okay. head, yes. So th there is, uh, you know, there is lots of people, uh, they have the tendency to change mobile phone every like six months, mm. one year. Yeah. So once something comes in you, they like jump and yeah. buy it and go. Yeah. So I think in, in, in general, it is one of the highest ones. But mostly uh, now, it's, uh, you know, most of them is like the iPhone Galaxy one. I think yeah. they are in the lead uh, in terms of even applications or, or use. Number one yeah. is mainly uh, Apple iPhone. Number two is the uh, yeah. Galaxy yeah. Uh, Samsung uh, yeah. product. Yeah. Okay. And the, there is an issue with respect to, to groups of the poorer groups of the population not having access to those, those kind of smart devices. It's, it, it's it's pretty much ubiquitous across the population, is it? Is, is what you mean? I, yeah, what no, the, the, like the, some people the, don't the poor, have. Yeah, the, the poor the, people. The poorer mean. people in the population. Do they do they suffer by not having a smartphone? Or uh, I think more or less. I, I th the, more or less, mo most of them they get, and one they have access. So one one bad habit of some of some is really some even tend to even to take a loan to buy a smartphone uh -huh, or take yeah. something yeah. to, which is it is there, but you can see now, it is really moving to the like uh, medium sector. Most of the yeah. people can afford these things. Yeah. There is a little percentage of the poor people maybe they cannot afford a smartphone, yeah. which is which is which is there. Now, for those people, uh, there is um, uh, also for some solutions provided by the government, there is kiosks, machines yeah. that they can go there to public sector environment or even to the malls, shopping right. malls. So the government is providing these 
kiosks to get these yeah. e-services. So even okay. if you don't have that, yeah. you can still access e-services yeah. and get your things done. Yeah, yes, so you yes. can still get everything done Yes, you online. can still at least yeah. get some services. And yeah. is this is this a, a project that, that's that's ongoing? I mean, what are the what are the next key developments in this area? What, what's the next drive for? Yes, there is initiatives by some cities, governors. You know, if you go to smart city, I even mentioned in the presentation, it is mainly led by the city mayor or the governor mm. of the city. There are like two or three cities, the governors are leading this smart city initiatives and moving it forward. They are more a little bit like more advanced. But I think what you will see more on this, in, in this year, there is a big jump and the growth of internet penetration. It used to be 30, 40%. Now we can reach to close to 55, 60% penetration, okay. which allows more like uh, smart applications, smart use of services yeah, available. So I think this year, 2013, we will see uh, many uh, e-services, specifically from Ministry of Interior mm. and also from uh, Ministry of Education, the Ministry of uh, Foreign Affairs, you'll see more e-services applications. So you can call it a big jump in, in yeah. applications for yeah. e-services. I think by the end of this year, it will be very, yeah. very obvious and very clear, yeah. yes. Yeah, excellent. Well, Dr. Alto, thank you very much for talking to me. Thank you for your time and thank you for the presentation. It was a very lively session. I enjoyed yes. it. Thank, thank you, you very much. Thank you.